Okay, here I have a, an MC307 with a, a blank screen when you turn it on. I've got it hooked up to a power supply. Go ahead and turn it on here now. And you'll see I'm just getting the screen. Slightly illuminated screen, no LEDs, no nothing. So what that means is that uh, the RAM has either been corrupted or erased. So the way to fix that on uh, page 9 of the service manual it outlines a way for I'll put it here on the service manual here sorry page 9 it describes the flash memory so likely what's happened is Something's been corrupted. Looks like this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn on the power while holding F1, F4, and rhythm part. And I'm going to see if I get that that dash on the on the board here. Okay, so this is F1, F4, and rhythm part view. So one, two, three. Power on. Now, I'm drawing a little bit more amperage, but you'll notice that. Do you see? That means I've gotten into uh, part of the CPU that's going to go ahead and erase all of the memory. So if some's been corrupted, let's get it all out of there. So the next step is to press 1 and 6, test. And then I just kind of got to sit back and watch everything happen. So one and six. And it's flashing test. So now it's going to start going through the motions here. And this is erasing all the RAM. Now I should say that um, when I first tried to do this, I wasn't getting any response from the panel so I did take it apart and replace the uh, tactile switches I kind of skipped over that part I didn't make a video on that because there's other videos and somebody's li liable to uh, not like my technique so we're just gonna let it go through here that's test one is finished now we're into test two There's a total of three of them. Now, if you let it go through this test and then try to turn on the unit, it's going to be the same. It's going to be a blank screen. That's finishing test two. Or it's, I guess it's still continuing test two. So after I wipe all of this memory, what I need to do is load the program data and then the song data. I'm going to have the links for everything down in the description of the video from Roland's website that has the PDF on how to uh, load everything. But I use the Bohm Send SX and I send everything one at a time one last thing I want to show you is uh, on the power supply here you'll see I'm drawing about half an amp while it's loading all this stuff okay one good way to test if uh, the 307 if you have one you know with the blank screen now it's on to test 3 I noticed that uh, it'll go up to 0.8 amps at when you first turn it on and then down to 0.3 amps with the blank screen meaning you know nothing's happening but that gives you uh, an indication that the CPU's waiting for a command and uh, has some power provided but when it gets no command and it has nothing to do the the current draw went down to 0.3 amps so um, gonna let this finish 
and then I'll I'll show you briefly loading up maybe one of the files on the computer and uh, skip over the details just to show you the end okay so here it says end so again if I turn it off and on it's just gonna show me a blank screen and there will be nothing on the LED so I'm gonna turn it off all the way and then uh, we're gonna go in here into the service manual where this is going to load everything onto the CPU so how to do the version update everything to do or you can check the update procedure the file according to uh, Roland's website it's an executive file that's going to unload all of these uh, the program and then the data folders and there's several system exclusive messages in each one of those folders um, so I've got all that on the computer I've got everything hooked up with this is my uh, audio interface I use this old one because it's it's fail safe you know like don't use those USB dongles use MIDI in and MIDI out I've got that connected here at the back as well as the power so okay so we're gonna turn on the, the 307 with the same combinations again to get it into the menu that is the F1, F4 and rhythm part view turned it on I've got the bars here in the corner. Now I'm going to press R, then press 3. And it's going to blank. It says, hey man, I'm waiting for the system and the MIDI. So then I'm going to go into uh, my computer part. Let me go ahead and okay. pause. So according to the manual it wants us to do the everything in the program folder first. So this is Bohm SX. I've got my Tascam uh, interface here. I'm going to open this up. Hopefully it will find uh, the folders without a problem. okay so we should do the program first and see in each folder there's eight so this is gonna take a minute I'm gonna load up the first one there's all your raw data that's what it looks like the 307 is waiting so let's send it boom sending uh, so it's receiving uh, bulk data I'm getting the blinking lights here and you'll notice that this has lit up that means it's slowly loading um, the data so that is absolutely good news we were bringing this back from not doing anything to loading up everything so I'm gonna do this several times and uh, then I'll, I'll check back in with you. And again, I wanted to show you that as the data is loading, so you can see the, the activity of the, the MIDI in. This is coming from the 307. This is going out. And that these are slowly going to count up. And uh, I'm still, even a few minutes later, sending... Uh, line 192 of 294 so that's halfway through the first of I don't know maybe 20 files so plan some time plan time to do this okay when it's done it's not gonna say hey I'm done or give you any kind of message like that and when you get to your um, I know this is with my power supplies cable right in the way 
ignore the mess. Uh, make sure that you're always clearing out your uh, your MIDI out so that you don't accidentally duplicate and make sure you kinda keep an eye on which which file you're sending which ones you've already sent but I should tell you that it doesn't uh, necessarily matter if you reload another file in its uh, entirety uh, maybe out of order or something like that. I have had experiences like that. So again, we're going to keep going and this is the second file and it's taking. So I'm very excited and optimistic. Okay, just finally finishing up uh, putting all of the system data in. 32 times, so it takes about, you know, maybe 3 minutes a piece times 32 so that's like an hour and a half if you're around doing it uh, you should know that I, you can leave it on all night in between uh, and it won't care so that, that's okay alright so data's all sent that's the the end of the 32 so I'm gonna clear this out now according to the serv the manual here now without turning off anything uh, again I just need to press the numbers 5 and 7 and see if data appears on the LEDs so 5 7 did it work? no 5 7 so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off F1, F4, rhythm part view again. Got the lines. And now we'll try 5 and 7. Okay. And data's there. So the manual's a little bit tricky to understand. So now it's ready for the data. I'm going to go back in to the computer. And there should be, uh, there will be another 32 of these in the data. So I'm just going to send it the same way. That's sending. And let's see if this receives. If it starts to light up with this little dot here, then that means uh, all we got to do is just continue. Okay, so there it is. Alright, so when we're done... Uh, I will come back again. Okay, here we go. Ultimate test. Just put in the last of the uh, of the file. So we're gonna see if it uh, turns on. So again, I'm just turning off, and this time I'm I'm not gonna use a button combination. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure if you can see that. But... Okay, now this will always happen. At first, it'll say memory damaged. Like that. So I'm going to say okay, and uh, we'll go into the system settings, utilities. Sorry. Let's go back. System utilities keeps giving me that uh, that I have a uh, memory damage. So I'm doing a factory reset, and it could be that one of the uh, RAMs needs to be replaced but you see how everything else seems to be working so I'll let it go through that I've got a display on here not responsive to anything probably because it's doing a factory reset 
Looks like there may be a problem with this light. But we'll give it a check. In the service manual there's a, a breakdown of how to check for everything. I'm going to wait till this finishes and then uh, come back. Alright, so I've rebooted it. I don't have any error messages. And I'm going to uh, just test out some of the buttons and at least uh, to check that it makes noise. <laughs> Looks like I've got most of these uh, parameters I'm able to control. Okay. Oh, sticky. Mess with that a little bit. Maybe put a new switch in. That is good, and this light is working. Usually on all the MCs, there's nothing on one that's uh, for your external equipment. But it looks like every single button is working, and these are the ones that are hard to come by. And they are working as well. So. Uh, hopefully this will help you get your uh, 307 back up and working. If you need any switches, any of the tactile switches for underneath here, or this grab switch, I sell them on my store and I will have them on the link uh, down below. So like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy it.